Well, gentlemen, um, Jeff Marks, your county prosecutor, who also serves as counsel for county and township officials, mm -hmm. as you told me on Monday. And you're one of the uh, Huntington Township uh, trustees. John Cottrell, Huntington Township trustee. So it sounds like it's sort of good news after the hearing this afternoon. Well, I, I think you can say there's good news that there's a resolution on the horizon. Um, during the status conference that we just had, I think all three parties that were present uh, came to the agreement that Floral Hills should be considered a public cemetery with respect to um, the provisions of the Ohio Vice Code um, dealing with townships. So that takes away the biggest logistical hurdle to resolving this matter. Um, because of that decision, the, the statutes are pretty clear that in a situation like this, the, the cemetery would flow to the township. Which means the township now has a 200% increase of uh, graveyards that you have to take care of. Well, not yes. currently. It, has, it doesn't happen today. But soon. But it, it will happen. Uh, the court has set this for another hearing in about 30, 35, 40 days. September 25th. Uh, September 25th, because we've got a lot of questions that we've got to answer. We've got to bring the United States back into this because they've got tax liens against the defendants, uh, presumably against the property. So now the issue becomes trying to resolve all of the liens that Downey and Miller have built up as a result of their neglect of Floral Hills and their neglect of common decency in some respects. Um, and just try and resolve all the questions so that when the court does put a final entry on, as much can be resolved as possible. So it's on the road. It's on the it's road. It's out of limbo, but it's on the road to being de yeah, determined it's public. It, I think that's a safe way to say it. Yeah. Okay. So your conversation with the county commissioners on Monday is, will help you move towards the... Well, we, would, we just wanted to set the foundation for we knew it's kind of inevitable that we are going to be taking this. Uh, so we were we wanted to give the uh, commissioners a heads up ahead of time that we will be coming to them asking for some help we're, we're going to have to replace the bridge right away it's in very bad condition uh, as far as the cemetery goes it's, it hasn't been mowed correctly for several years now and there's 15 acres undeveloped land up there that that we, we will need to develop if we ever want to uh, make it self-sufficient so in the meantime we're going to ask for the commissioners and possibly the state representatives uh, to help us as well. So, so uh, uh, Mr. Robertson, who just stepped out, he's led the volunteers who have done their best to care for it. Yeah, Do you know what his plans are now th that things are moving on? Well, we we appreciate all the work that Mr. Robertson and his group has has done in the past, and uh, he is uh, he's been uh, he's promised us uh, some help going forward. Uh, once that we do take over this, uh, he will be right by our side, I'm sure, to, to help us get through the initial uh, phase of, of getting the cemetery back in order. And you had mentioned that this first year after you take over is going to be the big hump year. Yeah, it's going to be a big expense. I did a, a small con uh, cost analysis, and we're looking at over $300,000 to get uh, everything that needs to be done up there is equipment. Uh, the, the old house either needs to be renovated or torn down the office. The uh, storage building is in poor repair. The bridge, of course, and the, uh, the driveway that's about a half a mile long that needs, uh, needs serious repair to it. So as, as well as the grounds that need a lot of work, weeding, uh, brush cutting, that kind of thing. So any guess when I presume the engineer would replace the, the bridge. Well, would they have uh, to wait until clear title? Yeah, we haven't got that improved yet. Uh, of course, we don't own it yet, so. Uh, yeah, they we... can't, <laughs> you know, the county really can't step in and expend funds because it's not county or township property at this point in time. Um, it's certainly going that way, and you know, we're doing our due diligence to get things lined up so that when there is a, an effective transfer of control over the cemetery that things can get done right away. And that'll be sometime after the September yeah. hearing. And I'm not sure if, it, if it's going to happen right after or if the court's going to, you know, allow a grace period for or let's set a date certain down the road 
in order to make that happen that we haven't really gotten into to big discussions about that yet so it's one of those things we can't control we just up to the courts now so uh, we just have to wait and see at least it, things are looking better mm -hmm. looking better for the people who have uh, i think everybody you talk to has someone uh, that's a loved one that's been buried there i myself had a cousin killed in vietnam it's up there uh, you know so you know, you feel for the people that have, that have family up there, loved ones that uh, that the place has been neglected over the years because of the, because of the uh, private company going bankrupt. You know, so uh, I think it's uh, it, we we want we we are passionate enough, or we have compassion enough. I'm say of the people that that have. Uh, have loved ones up there that we want to do something if if it comes to that. Um, don't necessarily want to take on Eleventh Cemetery in our township, but uh, and we can set we can set just about all of our cemeteries right inside this one, so it's going to be a big undertaking for us. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. All right, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you.